And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're going to take a look at another expansion for Catacombs. Catacombs is a game I enjoy quite a bit. So today we're taking a look at the Wyverns of Wildmoor. This is an expansion for Catacombs, also an expansion for Catacombs and uh, Castles. So it works for both of those. Honestly, it's about 50-50 for each. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like you're going to get... Con I guess if you're playing Catacombs, there's nothing in here that you can't use with it. The, for Catacombs and Castles, some of the stuff in here won't really work for it. But you're going to be able to use dragons, essentially. Um, wyverns. Uh, you'll be able to ride them around. So if you want mounts, essentially, when you're playing this game, this is the expansion for you. Let's take a look at the content inside. A new board is included with this, which is always great because it's good to have more boards. But this game is specifically about adding wyverns. And so there are eight different wyverns included with the game. And you could possibly have more than one of each of them. Now, each of the wyverns has its own card that comes with it. And we'll come back and take a look at these cards later. Uh, and the way that wyverns will appear is in a couple different ways. Some of them are going to appear from different rooms. So the game comes with a whole bunch of rooms. If you're playing catacombs, they might show up in those rooms. It's also possible that you will run across a wyvern nest, in which case uh, some of the players are going to get an egg, which they can hatch into a wyvern. Um, and one person's also going to get the wyvern familiar, uh, which is an item that each player has. So you will, these will show up when they show up. And this is whether you're playing catacombs or catacombs uh, and castles, you're going to have it in the middle and you can get on them. They're, they're basically by themselves, they're invulnerable, they can't be hurt, and if you hit them, you can ride them. And then, so when you ride them, you'll take your figure off, you'll hit it, and then you get back on like that. And they have special shots that they can do. Many of the shots that these characters will do, you'll notice here it shows kind of a fang thing. They pretty much all have that shot that they'll do. And when they, they do that and they hit somebody, they do no damage, but they collect these fangs. You want to collect those fang pieces because you can use them. This guy can use one to do this shot. This guy can use two. So here, move, move, and then do an area control shot. Move, do a fire shot. Move, do an area shot. Now, this game comes, this expansion, comes with templates. There are four templates that it comes with. One for regular damage, one for critical damage. <laughs> so. After you're done moving, if you have a template for any reason, boom, anybody underneath that template is going to take damage. So these templates are on all the different wyverns, so you can see that they all have very different, you know, this one here doesn't have a template, it just shoots ice. This one, though, has a template and has another template. And some of the templates have letters, and that's if you're playing with catacombs and castles. This guy here does the round one, a double move or a single move, and does the small template. And so it's kind of neat because each wyvern has a very different feel. The templates are also shown up and used on some new monsters that are included with the game. I, per, I like the Eden. The Succubus has one. So there's some more monsters. Here's a Shambling Mound. I'm glad they included that with the game too. There's also several heroes that are included with the game. Uh, that, and then they, many of them start with a Wyvern. So she starts with the Wyvern Monarch. This guy starts with the Alvern. The Goblin Captain starts with the Wellamander. Aetha starts with the Favern. And you'll notice these are very not very useful. They can move twice or attack, which is pretty good, but the fact that they're riding a Wyvern is going to what's make them cool. And there's enough of them that everybody can have one, you know, if you want to play with them. Though there's also a Catacombs Lord, though, who's going to walk, who's going to carry one and attack people and poison them. And another Catacomb Lord who's riding the Ristol. What a terrible name, but wow, her attacks are really nasty. And so these are included with the game. There's also some new equipment, some new things here. We have uh, th that, that use the template structures, so those will be involved in the game. And of course there is a whole lot of uh, new pieces involved for all the different characters. So all these pieces are here and you'll be using them. So while there is, this is mostly about wyverns, that's his whole set and the extra board, there are some extra monsters and heroes and things. But it, basically it's, do you want to play with the wyverns in your games or not? I really enjoy the content here inside this game a lot. In fact, 
This is one of my favorite expansions to come out for Catacombs. I like the templates a lot. Templates are always kind of a pain in miniature games, but here they work pretty well. So you just move, and then does your template hit someone? You don't have to hit them, you just got to get close to them. I like that. And it doesn't overwhelm the game. There's just a few heroes or monsters and items that have it. The wyverns though, are so much fun. I mean, if, I, if I'm picking a hero to go through catacombs, picking one with a wyvern is pretty tempting because you get to go around and do a special, you know, build up to do the special attacks. In catacombs and castles, they add a lot of fun because you're hitting, and, you know, you, you get these wyverns in the middle. People are running to grab them to use them to fight. So it works in both regards. Um, it is interesting to me that the four heroes are essentially the same. They just have uh, different wyverns. I guess that's not the same. They start with a different wyvern. Uh, so they, they, I guess they feel different in that way. And I like that there's eight different wyverns. That's pretty cool. So the extra board is nice because if catacombs, you know, you're using the same four or five boards all the time, having another one to throw in that mix is great. The extra villains or monsters are fine. Then the extra stuff for castles and catacombs, but just the wyverns themselves and the templates, those really come together to make this game just even more diverse and interesting. And so I don't know that I'll play with wyverns in every single game, but I'm going to, well, castles and catacombs, I'll probably always play with at least one. Why wouldn't I? It's just fun. Everyone could fight over who rides it and stuff. I just think it's a neat idea. And I'm often going to pick the, the hero that has one for either that or regular catacombs. And then in catacombs, the fact that they just might show up sometimes in a dungeon level makes that fun too. Um, so great expansion, really fun. If you like catacombs, you'll definitely want to add this. Dice Tower of Judgment, excellent! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Hey, shut the door. Oh.